I have a quick tip for you. I want to share how you can adapt your Firebox Nano to work with a remote gas canister stove. If you're interested, keep watching. So without question, the Firebox Nano is one of the most well-designed small wood stoves available on the market. But like all small wood stoves, it has, does have a few drawbacks. Primarily, because of their size, you have to constantly feed them with wood in order to maintain your fire. Now, the Nano is better than a lot, actually, almost all the small stoves of that size, in that you can feed longer sticks in from the side, so that makes it a little bit better. In addition, you can adapt your Nano to work like a Swedish fire torch, and there are lots of videos out there on how to do it. It's also, also quite multi-fuel. I have used mine with wood pellets, certainly you can use Use it with your Trangia and a number of other alcohol stoves. But one thing that most people don't realize is that you can also adapt it to work with a remote gas canister stove. So that's what I want to share with you today is how I have adapted my stove to work with a remote gas canister stove. So really, you're only going to need three things. Your Nano, a remote gas canister stove, and possibly on the, based on the design of your stove, a metallic washer. All right, let's go down to the tabletop and I'll show you how it's done. So there's no modifications required to your Nano to make it work with the remote gas canister stove, with one exception I'll explain in a moment. So basically what allows this to work is the fire grate in the bottom of the Nano. It has the five holes and the center hole is what we're going to use to adapt the gas canister stove to. So let's switch over to the gas canister stove. So this is a generic, I think I picked this one up off of AliExpress and I'm not going to use this one for the demonstration because it does take a little bit of time to take apart but I'll demonstrate how that is done but in fact what I'm going to use is another one that I've already taken apart and used on a number of other stoves and you'll see this in just a second. So basically if you buy one of these stoves and like I said they're very readily available and very inexpensive on AliExpress and Amazon then all you really need to do is to take the burner off it will unscrew and uh, on right th underneath that are two long screws about an inch and a half in length and they secure the plate and everything else into the bottom right here so it's very easy as long as you have a screwdriver it's very easy to take apart and what you're left with is this assembly right here I'll just put this back together so you can see so as I mentioned this was off a different stove but it's identical in virtually every way so that's what you're left with and that's all you really need to make the adapting now depending on your stove design and how the diameter of this port here then you may need to use a metallic washer like I mentioned in the opening so all I really have to do is find a washer that will fit over the top here and this one does just nicely like that but we're going to start by holding the bot or the gas canister stove there through the bottom and trying to do this in reverse looking at the camera to see what I'm doing properly put the washer over it and that will keep this portion of the stove from dropping through the hole because the hole is just slightly larger and then all you have to do is tighten it up and you're ready to go. That's it. That's everything. Now I'll just pull the camera back a little bit and I'll attach this to my uh, butane canister and we'll set it up for a demonstration. All right, quickly, I have set up for the demonstration and you'll note that I put a plate underneath my stove and that's only because I'm on a combustible surface and I just didn't want too much reflected heat coming back down on to the material here. So I have a little kettle ready to go. I have my gas canister stove here. Now, the only thing that's missing is uh, some way of lighting the stove. So the included piezoelectric lighter that was on the uh, original stove does not transfer over to this. So you're going to need some way of lighting that so let me demonstrate that you can do it either from one of the feed holes on the side which is what I'll do and by the way just as this warms up a little bit and you can hear me over top of the roar turn that down I measured the distance from the top of the burner to the pot stands and it comes out pretty much exactly two inches so if that's of interest to you. I actually quite like that distance. The other benefit I'm seeing here is that the burner is actually recessed into the stove some so you do have some wind protection although you still have the gap on top. So I'll place the uh, kettle on. 
And there you go. That's all there is to it. Works perfectly. All right, this was just a quick tip on how you can adapt your Firebox Nano to work as a remote gas canister stove, making an already amazing little stove into something even more versatile. I will tell you that I did try this with the Trangia gas adapter that you can use with the larger full-size 5-inch Firebox, but I couldn't get it to fit quite in the stove perfectly, and I think that has a lot to do with the uh, preheat tube or the generator tube that's on the side of it. I just couldn't get it to set down inside properly. So no problem. One of these inexpensive stoves works perfectly in the Nano. All right, if you have any comments or questions, then please put them in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.